Well, hello, my lovely little islanders. It's Sydney Island here. That's island with the Y, not an S. And today we're going to be talking about Lilith in Aquarius. Yes, I am finally finishing the Lilith series. I only had two more videos left, and that was a Lilith in Aquarius and Lilith in Pisces. I'm doing it, y'all. I'm doing it. Give me some credit, okay? I'm doing it. But let me go over the polls that I always go over in my astrology videos. I'm going in order. So in this poll I asked, out of these signs, which do you think is most likely to have a nervous breakdown? Out of Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Aries, and Gemini? And guess who won? Who surprised? Virgo. Virgo, because Virgos are known to be the most uh, worrisome. You know, Virgos are known to be worry warts. And y'all know that because y'all are just as smart about astrology as me. Um, yeah, I've been studying it for the past eight years, but who knows? Y'all might have been studying it for 12 years. I don't know. Um, and then the second runner up was Pisces, which is Virgo's opposite sign. Pisces and Virgos are known to be the most nervous. And then the next was Aries after that, which Aries can worry they butt off. I, honestly, from my experience, I, I don't know. I feel like I've met more worrisome Aries than Pisces. But then again, I, I haven't really dealt with that many Pisces. And then we got Taurus was the next, was, was number four. And then the last was Gemini with 90 votes overall. Okay, so let's jump right into the video. Okay, Lilith in Aquarius. I want to title this video, The Misfit. Yes, because Aquarian energy is the energy of the loner. Even though Aquariuses can be very social. Don't get me wrong, Aquariuses can be very social. They love to talk. But this can be the sign of the loner. Okay, so let me you know, explain what Lilith is in astrology before I get into Lilith in Aquarius. So Lilith is the dark side of your personality. It is the perversion or the corruption of the zodiac sign that your Lilith is in. So this is going to be the, the corruption and the perversion and the darkness and the, the crazy extremes of Aquarius. This is gonna be the side of Aquarius when you go dark side you're going to go dark side in Aquarius because this is where your your darkness is, okay? And this is this is um your Lilith sometimes can be kind of hard to identify, you know, because it can be hidden and a lot of times it it only comes out in certain situations and in certain environments and it comes out when you're, you know, uh, in a very close relationship with somebody. Okay? So, I got my notes here so I'm going to be reading off here. I need to relax though, girl, because <laughs> I'm like, I told myself I don't want to edit this video. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, it got to be perfect since I'm not going to edit it, you know, but there's no such thing as perfection, Sydney. Okay. So little than Aquarius people, they're all about their freedom, right? Um, and these people will literally go to extremes to maintain their freedom. These people can be ruthless when it comes to maintaining their freedom. They'll do things that can be kind of evil and um, they can sometimes not be a team player just so that they can have their own freedom. Freedom is so important to them that they most likely will have commitment issues. You know, this is not the type of person that I don't want to make make a person feel bad who has a Lilith in Aquarius because any darkness can be overcome. That's the whole point of Lilith is to is to, to know and understand your darkness and the inferiority of your soul and then uh to learn about it and to make those mistakes and then to get higher and higher and higher and transcend those issues uh to a point where you are in your superior aspect of your soul as far as your lilith goes you know what i'm saying so i don't want you to feel bad when i say this but lilith and an aquarius people aren't the type of people that you really want to commit to or be in a relationship with um but only when they're in their lower vibrational self, when they're in their lowest form of their Lilith, you don't really want to commit to these people because they won't want to commit to you. <laughs> Just as simple as that. If you make them feel restricted, they do not want to have to deal with you. So when it comes to relationships, this placement struggles a little bit, you know, because they sometimes reject intimacy because it's too close for them. You know, and even though, you know, these people want it, they want the closeness with people. They want to feel like they belong, but they don't. They feel like misfits. That's why I call it the misfit. This is the misfit child. 
in your childhood, you, you just felt different than everybody else. You felt like a weirdo. You felt like the oddball. Because you were a little unusual. You know? And you honestly just wanted to be appreciated for being unusual. But the issue here is you may not appreciate yourself for being unusual. You may reject your unusual nature because you want to fit in. You push to, to the side who you really are. That, that, that amazing awesome weirdo that you are on the inside you push it to the side you bury it you suppress it because you don't want people to know how different you are because you want to fit in and this can also be to the extremes of either rejecting your unusual side or or wanting to be the weirdo being comfortable with that being confident in that and pushing a little too hard with that and shunning people and judging people who are normal like ugh, those normal people over there ugh. They think they're so much better than everybody. <laughs> but when in reality, you think you're better because you're not normal. That's the extreme of Lilith and Aquarius. But once you um, learn to work with this placement and uh, heal from these wounds, you can just simply be confident in being different. So since Lilith touches more on the sexual aspect of your personality, this is also the dark side of your sexuality. Those who have a Lilith and Aquarius can prefer some pretty unusual things when it comes to sex. Because mind you, Lilith does rule your sexuality, the dark side of your sexuality. So Aquarius being the sign of things that are more <laughs> the oddball nature, when it comes to sex, you may have a very kinky side to you. And you may be turned on or sexually aroused by things that are unusual and unnatural. I know somebody who has a Lilith in Aquarius, right? And she has this really weird fetish of being aroused by seeing men get, like, be tied up. You know what I'm saying? She likes to, she gets turned on by seeing men be wounded and hurt and, and, and weak and, and, you know, and, and we all make fun of her for it. But it's like, that's her Lilith. You know what I'm saying? That's Lilith and Aquarius is being turned on by um, weird things that most people aren't turned on by. Being turned on by seeing your partner get beat up, <laughs> you know, or wanting to beat your partner up, like being turned on by that or being turned on by you yourself getting beat up, you know, just weird stuff like that, you know, stuff that's a little bit unusual, you know. Um, I wrote down also... <laughs> <laughs> that these people can be very experimentative uh, when it comes to sex. They can be very sexually uh, curious and, and, and promiscuous. And a lot of these people can, can be bisexual and pansexual and, you know, have a very um, unique perspective on sex and things like that. And they're just very different, you know. And they like to be in sexual uh, partnerships with people who are also just as different as them. You know, these people are very, very attracted to weirdo types, you know. They don't really go for, like, the normal, you know, type person. Uh, yeah, we hear that noise back there is always so. Yeah, these people won't really go for the normal type of person when it comes to relationships. You know, they don't go for a normal partner. They are really, really turned on by weirdness, strangeness, oddness, peculiarness people talking in a way that is unusual you know they may be very attracted to people who have accents uh the person i know who has a little in aquarius she's very attra i feel like i talked too freaking fast <laughs> i think fast so i talk fast the person that i know who has a Lilith in aquarius who has these weird kinks she has a thing with guys with accents you know um that's very much that's very much aquarius energy they're very much um, turned on by things that are different than them. So they want to marry a partner who is a foreigner. You know, they, they're excited about that. You know, they're like, you know, my husband is not going to be American. My wife is not going to be American, like, because I'm American. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be the same ethnicity as me. They're not going to be the same race as me. I want them to be different. You know, Lilith and Aquarius is all about different, different, different. They want their husbands and their wives to look different than them, to sound different than them. They want something completely out of the norm, something that they've never experienced before. They like new things. They like change, okay? Um, these people can be very rebellious. This is like one of the most rebellious Lilith placements of them all um, because Aquarius is already naturally a rebel. 
and then you put Lilith with it and you're gonna like rebel to the extremes so you may be like ruthless you may be like the the ruthless child who who rebels against her parents because she just wants to be different she don't want to be where her parents want her to be she's like how dare you try to mold me I cannot be molded that's Lilith and Aquarius they can't be molded they have to decide who they are they have to decide who they want to be and anybody else who tries to decide for them they gonna kick they gonna cut you off they gonna cut you off okay i'm looking at my notes here um i wrote down they have a lot of sexual fantasies okay and these people are very mental when it comes to sex okay um sometimes they're more turned on by thinking about sex than actually having sex because aquarius is a very mental sign it's an air sign air signs rule the mental air signs is aquarius libra and gemini so these people are like they can be really like sapiosexual meaning that they are sexually aroused by intelligence you know they're sexually aroused by the mind if they if they see that you are very intelligent and you think deeply and you have a very unique mind and a very brilliant mind they're going to be sexually aroused by that more than if you dress nice or if you smell nice or if your hair looks good they could care less they want somebody that looks bizarre and weird and has a brilliant mind they're geniuses they are they're very very intelligent and they can manipulate because they're so intelligent they're really good at manipulating they have very um intellectual minds and they, they crave intellectual stimulation and it, and, it, and it all can play into sex you know having that intellectual stimulation you know they need that intellectual stimulation in the bedroom you know, these are the type of people who would like to have deep conversations before sex and during sex. They like to communicate while they're having sex. And, and they love to communicate about sex. They love talking about sex and they love thinking about sex. Sometimes more than they like actually having it. Okay. So let me look at my notes here. Yeah, these people can be sex addicts um, because it sex makes them feel liberated. You know, sex can be something that liberates it makes you feel free. Oh, I hope it's not going to rain. It looks like it's going to rain. Um, yeah, sex makes these people feel free. So they can be sex addicts. They can be addicted to sex and have a lot of sex. Because in other areas of their life, they may not feel so free. They feel like that they have to suppress themselves and they can't be themselves. But when it comes to sex, they can just let loose and be crazy. So they're addicted to that. Because these people are addicted to freedom. They're addicted to wildness. These people are people who may be very reserved um, in nature. They may come off very reserved and very shy and, and quiet and calm. But trust me, if you have a little bit of Aquarius, there's a very wild, like, quirky side to you that people don't really get to see unless they get close to you. Then they start confessing that they have this weird fetish over here and that they have this weird desire to like travel to this place and 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 go to this weird place that most people don't want to go to you know yeah um let's see the issue here with this placement though the dark side of this placement the part that can be an issue with people who have this placement is that you have uh trouble allowing yourself to feel allowing yourself to feel your emotions you like to be as detached as possible so that's why when people are in a relationship with you they can they kind of feel like like are you ever going to open up to me like who are you you know they only show you what they want to show you they don't want to show you their heart they don't want to give you their heart they have serious trust issues and they don't like like mushy gushy like they don't like to display their mushy gushy feelings even if they have them, they don't want to show you that because they hate weakness. They hate coming off weak. They hate being powerless. They always want to be as powerful as they possibly can be. And these people can be like ruthless leaders, like leaders who are power hungry and can like try to bring people down to make themselves feel more powerful because what they want is power, power, power all day. And that's, a, that's classic Aquarius energy. And this is why sometimes I have beef with Aquariuses because they can be bullies just to make themselves feel better and it, uh, i've dealt with too many aquariuses like that that's like the worst of aquarius <laughs> is bringing people down to make themselves feel better because they're insecure and they don't have a better way to make themselves feel better because they're suffering in that area when it comes to people it's not it's not really their strong suit when it when it's a little than aquarius 
and you're in your lower vibration of that of this placement you are not really good with people you are not very cooperative you want to run everything you want to control everything <clears throat> or on the flip side you want to hide because you don't want people to see you you don't want people to look too deep into you to look into you and then see how much different you are but once you start to get more confident in yourself and just express the oddness that's there just express that people may actually be a fan of you people may actually like really admire you once you actually start to uh, love yourself and, and, and feel confident within yourself and be confident in the fact that you're different than everybody else you stand out be happy with standing out you know so what, what would really help you because you have a, a tendency to shut down and your heart chakra your heart chakra can, sh your heart chakra can be blocked um get in tune with your leo energy okay leo is the opposite sign to aquarius so leo people can stand to you know um allow themselves to be influenced by aquarius energy get in tune with that a little bit and aquarius people can allow themselves to get influenced by leo energy leo rules the heart so get connected with your heart and this will set you free okay um and also what would help you is to try to be more considerate of other people and don't just think about yourself okay i know it's like you would hear about this from leo their opposite sign but mind you Everybody has the same exact trait as their opposite sign, just in an opposite way. Okay, so I believe that's it for Lilith and Aquarius. Y'all kinky, y'all different. Everything about y'all is unusual and strange. And that's what makes y'all special. So be confident in that, <laughs> you know. And don't be afraid to explore your sexuality. Because people in, with this placement also, before I end this video, I want to say, you can cut yourself off from sex. And like go long periods of time without sex and be celibate for like several years um, out of fear you know <clears throat> and sometimes it's just uh, uh, very much because you're suppressed and you're afraid to to get in tune with that side of you you know some of these people can be late bloomers when it comes to sex and it takes them a while to open up to themselves sexually and to admit that they're even a sexual person these people can be asexual. You know, the person that I'm thinking of in my mind, she's a little than Aquarius, and she's thought, she thought that she was asexual for a very, very long time. And then once she started to explore herself and started to masturbate and started to understand herself sexually, then she realized that she was an extremely sexual person. And that's classic Aquarius and Lilith energy. It's, it's about extremes, okay? It's about one minute you're way up here, the next minute you're way down here you know and that's that's what it is with sex one minute your libido is way up here and the next minute your libido is damn near gone they don't even exist anymore so you do have a, a serious fluctuation with your libido okay so that's all i have for lilith and aquarius i feel it starting to sprinkle give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and also check out my other videos uh, my other lilith videos i only have one more lilith video to do and that's lilith and pisces see y'all later Bye bye